assalamu alaikum dear viewers welcome to our channel today we are going to talk about a very important case let first of all see the case at a glance watch the video so as you see this patient having something coming down from the nose and yes it is called rhinosporidiosis now let's talk about details first of all clinical scenario this female patient 56 years old a rural woman regularly takes bath in a pond six months back during bath in a pond she had a minor trauma in the nose after few weeks she felt minor obstruction of her right nostril which increased gradually she also complains of occasional nasal bleeding for last few months and this type of reddish growth come out from the nose which is increasing day by day on examination as you can see in this video there is a reddish soft polypoid mass present in the right nasal cavity its surface looks granular looks like a strawberry it bleeds on touch though it is not shown here and probably the pedicle of it is attached to the nasal septum and you can see in the upper surface there is usual spot maybe it is sporangia it may be also found in the under surface of this lesion so now come to pathophysiology and discussion on it. Rhinosporidiosis is a chronic granulomatous fungal infection of nasal mucosa presenting as vascular polypoid mass caused by Rhinosporidium siberi. It was first described by siberi in Argentina. It is endemic in India, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Africa and South America. The spore of the fungus is present in cow dung of animal like cows, buffalo, dogs. If the people take bath in the river or pond infected with the spore, then they can get this infection. Infection usually results from a local traumatic inoculation with organism as in our case. The local replication of Rhinosporidium severi occurs which is associated with hyperplastic growth of the host tissue. What are the common sites of the rhinosporidiosis? Up to 70% cases no nasopharynx. In 30% cases it may occur in conjunctiva lacrimal apparatus of eye, in mouth, upper airway, skin, genitals and rectum. How to diagnose? It can be diagnosed by taking nasal soap and also histopathology after excision along with doing the other routine investigations. What is the treatment? Complete excision and electrocoagulation of the base to reduce recurrence and bleeding. This is all for today. Thanks to all. Subscribe our channel for more clinical videos. Thank you.